good evening everyone so today is a very short video in which on x-ray we'll show you how to differentiate between a pacemaker and deep brain stimulating device so both the device have uh, some sort of same placement in which there is a battery in the uh, machine which is implanted uh, below the skin pacemaker is implanted below uh, on the upper side of the chest and um, deep brain stimulating device is implanted somewhere at a lower side in the chest in the pacemaker the uh, electrode goes to the heart and in the deep brain stimulating device the electrode goes towards the brain so many of you are familiar with identifying the pacemaker on the x-rays but many of you have not seen deep brain stimulating device because the surgery is performed uh, at selected centers so if some access comes before you you need to know at least that this is a deep brain stimulating device which is called dbs and you need to identify so first we'll see what is how the pacemaker looks on x-ray and then we'll show you an x-ray of a patient who's having uh, dbs so as you can see here this is an x-ray this is from the neck this is your machine which is implanted somewhere in the chest these are the electrodes which are going and they are going towards the heart so this is a pacemaker so machine and electrodes going to the heart now we'll see here now you can see here this is the machine which is implanted here and if you can trace the electrodes they are not going towards the heart they are going towards the brain so this way you identified that this is not a pacemaker it is a deep brain stimulating device which is being uh, implanted in this patient usually this device is used in patients of parkinson or uh, drug resistant epilepsy or drug resistant ocds or dystonia and one more indication and their role is being uh, uh, searched in other cases also like alzheimer's or dementia dystonia and some uh, behavioral um, behavioral indications also uh, indications are coming up so you can read in detail just google and you will get good sites where you can get an idea of deep brain stimulating device because it's a complex procedure how many leads we have to place what type of stimulus we have to give it all depends upon the patient's condition but the purpose of this short video was that if an x-ray comes to you you need to identify whether this is a pacemaker or a deep brain stimulating device any questions you want to ask you can ask in the comments or you can go to our forums thank you see you next week